Hello my fiery friends, the Inferno Man here with the latest in budget deck technology. And for today's deck tech, we'll be going into the midweek magic event to see, ooh, we are playing Historic Popper? That's pretty awesome. As always, I'm a big fan of the Popper format, and someday I hope that this format will come to Arena officially. But until then, let's look at a mini deck tech today to show you how you can get your quick wins in, have a lot of fun, and enjoy this event. But before we continue, if you do like any of the content that I do, please like, follow, and subscribe wherever you watch the content so you don't miss out on any of the gameplay, booster pack openings, deck decks, and so much more. So the deck in question we're going to be playing today is Mono Black Toxic. I know, I know, I know. I've played a lot of Toxic decks, but I'm actually a fan of the mechanic. So I figured, can we do this actually in the popper format? Good question. And we definitely can here in at least Arena. Real quick, let's go over the stats of the deck before we get started. Again, the deck is all Mono Black of about a manage curve of about 2.1. You're looking at 16 creatures, 12 instants, 8 sorceries, 2 artifacts, specifically equipment, and 22 lands. What's also awesome is this is great, of course, because of the fact that it's a Popper deck. So those of you out there that are beginner players, definitely give this a try. Even if you want to build it in paper, it's super cheap. It's all comments, and it's a great way for those of you who are interested in a really affordable format to play Magic the Gathering in to get yourself started. So of course, as you can see right here, we're going to be only utilizing, well, there's only a couple of creatures actually that have Toxic for us, which is going to be Pestilent Siphoner. We have Blight Belly Rat. We're going to be using Bone Picker Scourge and Stinging Hive Master. These are our four main cards that we're going to use to hopefully just overwhelm our opponent with poison counters and win the game. But how do we get there with these cards? So as a little bit more of an in-depth look, Pestilent Siphoner is a flying toxic evasion creature, so that can get the poison going. Blight Belly Rat, of course, also has toxic, but if it dies, it also has proliferate, so it can get an extra poison counter on something. Bone Picker Scourge doesn't actually have Toxic at all, but it becomes a great offensive or defensive option in the air because as long as we have three or more poison counters, it can have Death Touch and Life Link on it. And then finally, Stinging Hive Master here provides a decent ability where even if it dies, it can leave behind a Phyrexian Might, which also has Toxic and can ensure we can keep the pressure going on our opponent. But you'll notice that all of our creatures are three mana or less. So in this format, we can also take advantage of a new card, Unearth. So this one mana sorcery allows us to return a creature card with a mana value of three or less from our graveyard to the battlefield, meaning that any one of our creatures can come back allowing us to be very aggressive against our opponent and ensure that we can keep applying that pressure as I mentioned earlier. And even if you don't need the card, what's also sweet is it also has cycling, so we can also cycle these away and then hopefully draw into more action if that's actually what we need instead. Otherwise, in protecting our creatures and providing some more combat tricks, we also have Fake Your Own Death. Fake Your Own Death allows us to have our creature get a pump of 2 plus 2 plus 0, and if it dies, it comes back to the battlefield tapped under our control, and we get a treasure token out of that, allowing us to also keep casting more stuff for more value and for cheaper. As far as our removal to make sure our opponent has nothing in our way, we have Whispers of the Dross, and we also have Anoint with Affliction. What's great about this is in the early game, even if we get at least one poison counter, it also has Proliferate, so we can pick off usually something that like a chump blocker and then add some more poison counters to them. Anoint with Affliction may not actually have the poison ability, but with Corrupted, it allows us to then turn on an ability that allows us at instant speed to exile any creature if, as long as they have those three or more poison counters. And then finally, in order to ensure that if we can't get the poison off and we just need to do combat damage, we also have Bone Splitter here. The surprise tool that can help us later. As our cheap way of just making one of our creatures more powerful, giving it a plus two power advantage, even just for a simple equip of one. As for how we get to our action, we also have copies of Infectious Inquiry, which does a double duty for us. It gives us some card draw. Yes, we lose two life, but also that's a small price to pay because, of course, we get those poison counters on our opponent. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, it just adds more synergy to the deck. As far as the land base is concerned, 19 swamps is all you need. We have a couple of Baron Moors, allowing us to cycle away lands when we don't need them, or if we need them in a pinch, they just come into play tapped. And a single copy of Witch's Cottage to round out the whole package ensuring that if we have to, we can then bring back one of our creatures, as long as we have three or more swamps already before we drop this, and then we can then put another one of our creatures back, making it more frustrating for our opponent to waste their removal on us. But otherwise, that's basically the whole deck for you in a nutshell. As far as tips I'm going to give you for how to play the deck, not really anything super crazy for you. All you just really need to do is just, again, just play out your creatures, 
carefully weigh in when to use your removal in the deck. You're going to then take advantage of the fact that once you turn on the corrupted ability, Bone Picker Scourge provides for us a great way of putting on the Bone Splitter onto it, giving us a flying 4-2, which can also close out the game very quickly if we can't do it with poison counters. Once you at least have a couple of poison counters on your opponent, again, you can still be as aggressive as you need to, but also adjust your game plan accordingly. Sometimes just adding on an extra poison counter from your Infectious Inquiry card draw, sometimes just doing simple things such as the proliferate ability allows us then to stack them up very fast against our opponent and ensure that we will get our wins but otherwise that's actually the whole game plan for you again if you've watched these videos in the past anytime we do midweek magic we're not going to do a whole in-depth deck tech because again this is just something to play for you get your wins in for the event get your rare wild cards and then continue on with your day but my only other final thought i want to leave for the deck is if you are a fan of the toxic mechanic i definitely have a ton of other toxic deck techs that i've already done in the past so be sure to check any one of them out i'll leave of course links for that as you've seen throughout the whole video so you can check those out whenever you want to at your leisure but otherwise if you're a fan of this i mentioned the mechanic if you're a fan of being super aggro in black if you just like playing the midweek magics or even popper let me know in the comments below and i would love to hear from you however once you do get that win whether you overwhelm your opponent with poison counters or you even just get the beatdown plan with this simple little deck i assure you playing popper just in general is very satisfying and you will not be disappointed that's all I have for you today. Thanks again for watching, everyone. And just remember that no matter what you do play in the game of life, always be sure to burn bright. Later!